Well, hello there. I'm Detroit, and welcome to this video. It's been a while since I've done a digital drawing video. And the reason I did this one is because I was watching an episode of Drawfee recently, which is a YouTube channel that I absolutely love. And I really like uh, what they have going, which is they have a tiny version of themselves that they drew. They actually recently drew a second version of themselves uh, that they put at the bottom of the screen whenever they are talking. So it's kind of to indicate who's talking and when. And I really like that. And I want to do something a little bit like that as a trope for my videos. So here I go drawing kind of a, a figure. Uh, as you can see, I had a rough idea at the beginning of what I wanted to do, but I ended up changing quite a bit of the angle and everything. Also, uh, because I don't really want to show my face on screen, I'm not using any reference for this. I could have put up a picture of myself with this angle on my second screen, for example, but for some reason I didn't. And I still, I still kind of like the result. I wanted to to draw it in somewhat of a comic style. Um, so this is why I'm using kind of big lines and yeah. Uh, something I need to change in the future is that right now I'm sketching uh, with my inking brush and I, I really don't like it because it unconsciously makes me feel as if I can't change what I'm drawing. Like, I have a little bit more trouble erasing what I'm drawing because it's my inking brush. And this issue has been addressed a lot by Drawfee, for example. And they're right. I, I need to use a sketching brush and maybe a different color for sketching, uh, maybe red or something. But anyway, that's how I've always done it. And I know it could be better and it will be in the future. That's what practice is all about. Practice makes perfect is something that people say. I don't really think it's that big of a deal, but yeah. Anyway, I, I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, as you can see, I used Photoshop for this. I used the Photoshop CC 2017 version. Uh, that's what I'm most used to and that's what can run best on my computer because I only have a laptop and it's not the fastest laptop either. So I do what I can. I'm also using a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet, like the medium size, uh, I think, uh, with the Wacom stylus and, and, and everything to draw. I really like it. And also I've set it up so that um, the drawing part of my screen is, is exactly the same size uh, of the tablet and I find that it helps a lot. <coughs> Sorry. It helps a lot because the movements I'm doing are exactly the same size and it helps with precision and stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you have a graphics tablet without a screen, I highly recommend um, sizing your screen properly and your tablet on, on your screen properly. It's, it's a bit challenging sometimes because um, I always have to switch to my computer mouse uh, whenever I want to click uh, something on the top line, for example, in the files or editing or image or like if I want to change parameters, I have to use my my mouse because my stylus only goes as far as the canvas and like a few options on the side. Like for example, I, I can't use my stylus to create another layer. And yeah. Also, I would highly recommend using shortcuts because shortcuts make your life way easier. Uh, one of the shortcuts I use the most is the X, which uh, switches, switches between your background and foreground colors. Uh, for this drawing, it's not really evident because it's just black on white anyway. So I'm only using black and erasing. 
but sometimes when you're like shading, for example, it's really helpful to have your background color on one slot and your foreground color on another. So you can always alternate between the two to create the nice shade you want. Another really good shortcut is E, of course, for eraser. Um, if you want to make a gradient or use the paint filler tool, it's G, which is really good. And I most often use a uh, control T. Uh, control T is to uh, resize the image as well as um, turning it, like rotation and stuff. And if you right click after hitting control T, uh, there's all kinds of good stuff like perspective, deformation and everything. It's really useful to move and replace uh, your uh, the thing you're drawing on the last layer you're using. Uh, something also really useful is, of course, Control Z. But normal Control Z only goes back to the previous um, action you made that you can see in the in the historic on the side, on, uh, like the the log, I guess. So what you want to do is use Control, then uh, Mage, and then Z and that way you can go back as far as you want. For me, it's all set up on my tablet because I have the touch keys on the side and and I use them to do basically anything. Like I have a, I have a key set up to control T, another to control Alt Z, for example, or stuff like that. Uh, it's not control Alt, sorry. Um, yeah, what else can I say? So here you've seen me first sketch and this is kind of my final image. And now I'm trying different stuff as far as shading. Like, do I want to put shadows on my line art or not? So here you can see me try a lot of stuff. Um, also, I figured it would be interesting to make this video because uh, it didn't take me too long to do it, uh, about an hour, I reckon. Uh, so now that I've condensed it in like nine minutes or so, it's it's not too fast for the eyes to see. So you can really use it to to see how I did it basically. So here's me shading something that I don't end up using. Oh, also as you've just seen me do on the screen, I highly recommend that you flip your image like horizontal flip, uh, which I've set up in my F1 key on my computer. Uh, it's really useful to see every basic mistakes you've made, like for example, proportion and stuff, because, because you're always looking at the same image and sometimes it doesn't make sense, but you don't see it because you're deep into it. So yeah, I highly recommend that. So here's basically my, my finished, uh, line art, uh, which I've saved because I'm not quite sure if I like this version better or the later version, which is with colors. So yeah. Oh, and here, here you can see me put color in and then realizing that it's on the wrong layer and doing it again. Ugh, I hate that so much, but Hey, you need to practice. <coughs> so now we are getting to the end. So what I'm doing here is I've just picked a basic skin color tone and now I'm just filling it in and I don't know putting some random highlights I uh, usually you should put you should put shadows first but I didn't want to put any shadows on it I don't know why maybe I, maybe I just forgot I have no idea uh, but yeah this is kind of bad bad practice um, but yeah I, j I just had fun I I was already done with my drawing because I just wanted a line out at first and I figured hey why not I should add some colors in so I'm using um, a light brush with a with a with the straight edges and I'm just filling it in and then I'll use a brush blender uh, which I got from Jazza's uh, brush set which is really good I highly recommend them and I'm just uh, filling stuff in and like blending in the most basic way and here's my finished drawing so i hope you enjoyed it and keep watching for future videos where sometimes this head might just pop up on the bottom of the screen thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video next sunday bye